What's good? We back with another video. This your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic. You dig? And um, you know, actually got a podcast now, man. If y'all want to check it out, I'ma lead the prequel. You know, <laughs> I'ma lead the strength and weaknesses. Um, link to the podcast for Terrence Crawford and Julius and Dongo in the description. So y'all check it out. Y'all like it? Subscribe. I'ma try to be consistent. At least one podcast video a week. Um, probably more. Um, but today we're going to talk about this Crawford and Dongo undercard, which is one of the most, you know, on paper, one of the most hideous undercards I've ever seen in my fucking life. Um, you know, for them to put on, put this bullshit together, you know, with Eddie Herman, Bob Aaron working together on this fight, they could have did a lot better fucking than this. They could have did a lot better. Hate to sound negative, but this is like some bullshit from top to bottom. This is just some bullshit, man. I just can't say nothing different. Um, this is the worst card I've seen in my life I can remember. And I don't know which fights is going to be televised, but I do know the Dylan White fight won't be televised. And I guess the Brian Baba Jenner fights won't be televised. And I hope the Shakur Stevenson fight might be televised. That might be squalls in there. The rest, I don't know. But, um, you know, Brian Jennings is fighting. Well, the, the co-feature is uh, Alexander, Alexander Gufik, I can't pronounce his name, he's really good, versus Craig Baker, who is absolutely on, I think he's on a, I think he lost to Aaron Rodriguez by knockout a couple years ago, terrible under, terrible co-feature, um, Brian Jennings versus Daniel Martz, that might be a televised fight, he got it on here twice, that must be a typo, this is Ring uh, Magazine, but um, it might be televised, Daniel Martz is like 14 and 4, got knocked out two or three times, Terrible. Uh, Mike Reed, if you haven't seen Mike, yes, indeed, Reed fight. Uh, he's a good fighter. He was on my uh, one of my uh, Rising Stars a video I did a, about a month or two back. Uh, Rob, Robert Frackle, I don't know anything about him, but I do know um, Mike is in line for almost a title shot. He like five or six in one of the sanctioned belt bodies like WBO. Um, it's a good treat. I don't know anything about Robert Frackle. Um, but knowing Bob Aram, that's probably a glorified mismatch. If you didn't know, Nicholas Walters is making his return versus Arturo Santos Reyes. Probably another stepping stone type of fight. Um, I know people wonder about when, where Nicholas Walters was at. You know, he was froze because he didn't want to do what Bob Aram said to do. And they made him a comeback. He had no other choice but to come back versus uh, Vasilo Machenko. And, um, you know, coming off with a year and some change layoff. Um, maybe a year and got beat to a pulp and made quit and made it look worse than what he had to work uh look. But um he did quit. Mike Alvarado, yes, he's still fighting. He's fighting Sydney, so I don't know. Not gonna pronounce that at welterway. It's a fight that's not pretty much interesting at all either. Um I didn't know Mike Alvarado still was fighting, you know, dealing with outside the ring stuff really much uh deteriorated his career. You know, it is what it is. You got Dylan White versus Malcolm Ten. Malcolm Ten is a guy who's 38 years old. Originally, Dylan White was supposed to take on um, Michael Grant, the 90s heavyweight boxer. Um, he got so much backlash for that. Eddie Hearns did. So he picked Malcolm Ten. Like, that was a significant upgrade. The Arizona the boxer fighting out of Arizona now. He's from North Carolina, though. Um, 38 years old. Nothing special, I would assume, going by his record. Um, Brian Jennings, I guess that's a typo. I don't know which one is the real one as far as the car lineup. Um, Shakir Stevenson, uh, making his third professional day, third professional bout, um, you know, fight. Um, hopefully best of luck to the young kid. Um, had a spat on Twitter with Floyd Mayweather's daughter. He needs to learn how to control his fingers, you know, because he got a brand to look after. He could potentially lose sponsorships, but this is mm, the shittiest card I've ever seen in my life that I can remember. But we gone.